Hello Vapors. Right, so today I've got this that I'm going to do a quick review on. It's not going to be all deep and shit. This is the Tesla Nano 60 watt temp control. Um, and I just wanted to show it you in the box. Because <clears throat> as you know, I'm not a big package fan. But this thing, the way it's packaged is... It's the best box and packaging I've ever seen. Really nice. Flip your box out like that. And it's, it's held in there by this. It screws into your 510. Just let me get this shit out of the way. Right. Just show you, unscrew. Unscrew it in there. Right. Unscrew it. A little plastic and your mug pops out really good really good packaging that's the best best box if you're gonna do a box do a box that's really good and does the job you know if you're gonna go all out on packaging then go all out on it go pretend right so there's a the quality control pass you also get your dropping everything. Instruction manual. I've had a flick through it. It's it's a pretty good manual. Um, well illustrated and that. It's, it's a pretty good manual. Um, mod itself. It comes in like a brush silver effect, and I think the blue's like a brushed effect as well the black smooth as you can see which is the one I've got here right well first of all before I bought this I was looking for videos and stuff just to to see how the temp control worked really and I couldn't find any so I was worried that because I've never had a Tesla before um, and I was worried that it, the temp controller would have this pulse, which I can't stand. It's fucking, it's annoying. Um, so when it hits temp, whatever temp you set it at, when it hits that, it sort of pulses. It backs off and, and brings it up. I don't like that at all. So I wanted to make sure it did. And I couldn't find anything on that, really. They spoke in general terms about temp control on it but nothing about the pulse so I just I just bought it anyway just just to, just to see for myself now you got you get all it's it's a really good mod dead easy to hold um, it's got a few, a few things really um, spring loaded 510 in there fire button on the top really nice feels great to to use you know that is recessed as if you can see the screen sort of recessed with the up and down buttons there you know i think it's for holding it it feels good and also if you drop it you know what i mean you've got less chance of smashing your screen up um so that's pretty good you've got your vent holes at the bottom there as you can see usbs at the bottom which it doesn't really it doesn't really bother me. It bothers me more because every video I see on YouTube are all moaning about it, so it makes no fucking odds to me. I just lie it down to charge it to the tank off. Anyway. Menu's different on this. Um if you're not used to I don't know if the other Tesla's like I say. Five clicks on. get a tank on it I just want to show you this before I do anything right I've seen a few videos saying the tanks didn't sit flush now that's me that's me Krius right, just try and get it in that 
white there. That's flush as they come. There is there is zero gap underneath that. So the Prius fits flush. Try the Billow V2. I've just been using this, so I know it fits. Yeah, and again. Absolutely no gap whatsoever sits flush. Um, I'll take this off here. Right, that's the Geek Vape uh, Griffin. As you can see, flush. They all sit flush. Let's take that off. So I don't know whether this is a new version of the ones that I've previously seen. Don't know. But these all sit flush. That's the VCT Pro. And that's flush. They're all flush. Everything sits flush. Even my drippers, they sit they sit flush. So I don't know, I'll leave that tank on for because it's got the NI200 coil in it. Right, so it fires uh, 7 to 60 watts. Um, 0.1 watt wattage to build down. In wattage, sorry. Um, 0.05 in temp control. Um, 100 to 300 degrees Celsius, 200 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and there you go, there the doodars. No stainless steel as yet. I don't know if it's upgradable or not. I've not heard nothing on it to be fair. Um, what I will say is it's really fast charging. It's 2 amp charger USB, so really fast. Right, so let's get it in nickel. So, like I say, it's it's a different menu system to all the ones I've had. Right, so we're at forty-five watts, four hundred and eighty Fahrenheit. I'm not sure if you can see that. Not a lot of juice in here either, I need to knock some up. Temp control has been really good on it, to be fair. And you can, it will go up to the full 60 watts for your ramp up and temp control. Can't fault it, really can't. It's tiny. And it lasts me, this day on a full charge, it lasts me, this day on a full charge, for fuck's sake. On a full charge, it lasts me all day. Eight in the morning, till ten at night. Somewhere along those sort of lines. So it's, it's pretty good. Like I said with the menu, to change it, you um, you have to lock it. It's going to be hard this because I'm I'm still getting used to it. Right, so it's locked, as it says on there. So then you press your two buttons, up and down. It says hold to temp to change temp. So you do, so you go up, it's going to be hard this, but it says off, yeah, so once it says off the screen will go off on its own, um, five clicks on, and as you can see there, it says off, 
than your wattage. So I'll take it down. What I've got here, I've got. I'll stick my griffin on. I'm running dual Claptons in this griffin. First of all, size comparison. That's the IPV 3LI. Look at the size of it. It's tiny. Feels good and it's solid. Chris, uh, Chris. Right. Let's have this one on. Love this Griffin tank. Right, let's have a look. 40 watts. Um. Love it. Yeah, so that's that. That's the Tesla Nano 60 watt. So snip, what would what did I pay 35 quid delivered or something? Um I don't know what that is in dollars. Mm -hmm. But would I recommend this? Yeah I would. It's heavy. Pretty heavy. For its size, but it feels solid. And I'd rather have that than worrying about dropping it and it whacking all over the floor in a million pieces it ain't gonna do that it's, it's pretty well made you know what I mean it's solid and you'll if you get one you'll you, you'll feel it straight away and go fucking hell that's a decent bit of kit it's all right I said all the basics I've said all the stuff that I wanted to know before I bought it um, the big thing was the temp control, whether it pulses or not. It doesn't pulse, it, its temp stays there. Um, so that was the, that was the only thing I was worried about with this. I mean, wattage is wattage. Cracking little mod. I'm dead chuffed with it. And that packaging, the best so far. The best by a mile so far <laughs> right anyway the Tesla Nano 60 watt temp control it's a little minter the noise you can hear is the scrap men looking for scrap metal If you had my crown here, I'd take it out and give it them. Right, so I hope that's helped anyone. I was thinking about getting this little uh, beast. Um, I'd say get it. You won't, you won't be uh, disappointed by it. Um, yeah, so that's that. Peace out, vapors.